My name is Ben Vigoda. I'm the CEO of Gamelon, and um, we are developing the next generation in deep learning and machine learning. And uh, we're applying that to bringing data together, essentially automatically and autonomously processing uh, data from many different sources and joining it. So my experience at MIT, um, during my PhD at the MIT Media Lab with Professor Neil Gershenfeld, um, we built the first uh, probability-based microchips, and they were the, really the first microprocessor architecture uh, that was specifically designed uh, to perform machine learning uh, algorithms or applications. And um, that grew up into my first startup foray, which was called Lyric Semiconductor. And um, we eventually grew up and um, joined a larger organization, Analog Devices, and uh, put the chips into all kinds of everyday objects and products, uh, which probably everyone uses, uh, phones and cell phone base stations and cars and so forth. And um, one of the things I learned from that experience uh, was that hardware and software go hand in hand together. Venturing out uh, to start my second company, Gamelon, was really going back to software from hardware, going back to the algorithms and saying, um, now that we've seen how these uh, initial algorithms compile onto hardware, um, can we re-envision um, the design flow and the tool chain for implementing statistical machine learning and deep learning? Gamelon uh, has currently, we're not using any hardware, special hardware, we use the cloud and um, we're actually uh, portable across all of the different public clouds. So we run on Google and um, Microsoft and Amazon clouds and so forth. And um, there's a lot in common between the parallelism that happens inside of a specially designed chip and the parallelism and, and kinds of uh, communication patterns and so forth and compromises that you have to make when you have lots of machines in a data center in the cloud. So um, uh, there's many interesting technological relations there, but uh, Gamelon is a, is a cloud SaaS company. And, um, you know, two things about that. One, one of the things we do is we, basically people can uh, upload database extracts, CSV files, Excel spreadsheets, and so forth, and just kind of dump them all up onto this web page. And our machine will read through it all, and it'll give you back a single, unified, perfect spreadsheet with, you know, if there was one spreadsheet initially had some information about a person and maybe where they lived and another one had maybe an address and, um, I don't know, something else like, um, uh, I don't know, the cost of their home, then you could join those three things together now. Um, even if they were written differently. So even if they were written sort of in colloquial, uh, human language, not necessarily written out in machine code. And the, um, what we're really talking about with this new kind of machine learning is uh, a way of bringing stories uh, into deep learning. So it's what we call prior knowledge. So today, the state-of-the-art machine learning um, doesn't know anything until it meets the data. So it's a blank algorithm. It's essentially a tabula rasa, has no prior, almost no prior. And you give it some data and it learns from that data and it sort of shapes itself. Uh, but before you give it some data, you know, the same algorithm could essentially run on audio, video, text, I mean, very similar. Whereas um, human thought probably, and um, we think the future of machine learning lies in the machine actually knowing some stuff. And so we call those stories and uh, our machine learns stories from data, but then they're articulated in the system. So we can go in and read the stories it's learned. They're written in Python, and we can see what, it, what it's thinking. And when it goes and applies the stories it's learned to future work that it does, you can have a good sense, like a human expert with a certain background, you can have a pretty good sense of um, what kinds of background or, or prior sort of um, leanings or or ideas it's going to bring to uh, examining a new, a new piece of data.